here's the tool you need to adjust the air fuel um, mixture on one of these. So it's just a multimeter, um, but it's a multimeter with a dwell setting. This is a super cheap Harbor Freight model. Um, I will post the, the link to it in the description below. But yeah, basically you have to find a meter that has a dwell setting. And that's really it. You have your two leads and uh, your multimeter, and then you need a three millimeter wrench to make the adjustment, which I will show um, on the vehicle itself. So to connect the test meter, it's fairly simple. So these cars have this little test connector, just loose sitting in this area. Um, so you're gonna take your meter, you're gonna set it to four cylinder um, in the dwell setting. And so it's reading 90 degrees right now because it's not running. Our target is gonna be 45 degrees. We want it to, we gotta adjust to basically get this to be 45 the value will bounce right so it'll you know it'll be close so you kind of want the average to be 45 so if it's bouncing you know 43 46 47 then then back down to like 44 and it's bouncing in that uh, range then you're good um but yeah so because it's a dwell meter and we have it on dwell and it's basically an angle 45 degrees of a four-cylinder engine is that 50 percent um frequency that is the target for this vehicle. Um, but yeah, this test connector is here. You can see mine is not in the greatest shape in the world. It looks like it was burnt or something like that. The wires on it, there's a ground, which is the brown one. And then the other one is blue and white. The blue and white is the signal wire. So you're gonna connect your red lead to the signal wire, your black lead to, your, um, to the ground port, and then connect right the black to the the appropriate port on your tester and then the red to the whatever port is used for dwell and that's that little signal there the far one on the right it's the same as that if you notice so that's how you hook up the meter so the meter's connected the car is actually warm so the other basically piece of this is how do you actually make your adjustments so we'll go over to the air box in the fuel distributor and I will show you. So, in between the boot and the actual fuel distributor, there's this little hole. Um, from the factory, this hole has like a little aluminum plug in it um, that like a, an anti-tamper plug. So what we're gonna do is tamper. <laughs> um, I doubt that your car has that plug in it. If it does, you basically have to like drill it out. Um, but over the years and the ages of these cars, you know, these have been adjusted. To make the adjustment, you need a three millimeter Allen key. Um, I have this particular tool. I think I bought it on, uh, I think I got it from like Tectonics Tuning. I will add the link to where I purchased mine um, in the description below. But what's nice about it, it's super long. So this just goes into the hole and you'll feel you'll feel it go right into the uh into the the adjusting screw in there so that's ready to go so like i said this car is warmed up you want to do this test with the vehicle warm you are going to start the vehicle once it starts you're going to see the numbers on the dwell meter go all over the place but basically they should be in close to 45 um, and then what you're going to do is very slowly make adjustments using that screw. When you tighten it one direction, that the numbers on the meter will increase. And when you go in the other direction, they'll decrease. So you'll get your base reading. So say if it's 50, and then we're gonna go in the direction, I believe it's loose, I, actually, I'm not sure. You're gonna go in the direction and see if the numbers go up or down. If they go down, you're going in the right direction. If they go up, you're going in the wrong direction, go the other way. And you know, you're gonna make your adjustment and then let it run a little let the you know let it um kind of stabilize and that's really it that's the process um and i'll actually demonstrate it right now okay so the car is fully warmed up we have the test meter the dwell set to dwell four cylinder dwell and if you look at my reading 
they're high. I'm supposed to be getting 45 is the, what we want. 45 degrees, which is 50% um, for the frequency. So we, it's high, just to go over it, it's connected to the, uh, the leads, are connected to the little uh, test connector there. And if you look, I have my little adjusting wrench basically sitting in the hole ready to go. So it is running high. So I am gonna make a minor adjustment to this. I mean, and it is just a fraction of a turn. Little by little. again the little adjustment screw in there is just applying pressure to the plunger so for my final reading I removed the wrench so like the weight of the wrench isn't a factor so remove the wrench and are we getting an average of 45 